Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. Today we are here with a pretty exciting video. The Unicor IXO has arrived at the GSV Studios. Everybody has been reaching out wondering when we are going to get this unit and install it so we can show you guys what it's all about. And the much talked about non-ball marking technology, this system actually sits in front of the ball with high speed cameras and infrared and faces towards the ball, reading it with the ability of what they call a dimple technology for spin and speed and uh, some amazing club data uh, that is actually using sticker technology to provide ultimate accuracy. And we're here to test that and show it to you today. So I don't wanna drag things on. If you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel yet, please do. Reason is because we're bringing you things like this. We're giving you uh, as many videos and demonstrations as possible. We take viewer requests. So let me know what you wanna see in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this video. And without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so here we are with the IXO. Figured that we would do a quick unboxing to show you guys what all comes inside. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. All right. Looks like it's nicely packaged as uh, the QED unit was when we uh, received that. You have a calibration board which looks to be the same calibration board that we re, uh, received with the QED unit. So we have that. We have a box on the side here, LAN cable, ethernet gender. So we showed you guys this in the QED. Um, this is your ethernet cable that plugs into the unit. Tons of length to run down and around your wall, wherever you're going. So that's what that's for. That connects on LAN one, and then your internet can be on LAN two, all right? And they do include a gigabit LAN. So this looks like it's actually upgraded from the previous one, uh, a little different. Um, My Bytes friend, MBT, it's a gigabit LAN, USB 3.0 uh, adapter, all right? So that is for, uh, so you can have both ethernet uh, running first for the IXO or QED for that matter, and then uh, internet second. And then this is cool. Um, this is a leveling uh, tool that actually will sit on top of the calibration board. This is important. When you calibrate your unit, which we'll show you again, we showed you in the QED, it needs to be level. All right, if it's off center, then obviously when the camera is reading down, it's going to you know, not be able to calibrate properly. So now they provide a reading tool. I was using my own level before. So that's cool to see. I think that's very smart on their part for doing that. So let's see what is in the other box here. Adapter, power jack, and screw. So very similar packaging. You have your AC plug, obviously, and then AC adapter power unit. All right. And then you have your plug for the power. Okay, looks like we have reflective stickers. So you saw, if you saw any of the previous uh, demonstrations um, in the, you know, even the uh, little uh, brochure that they had out, the stickers that you can put on your club for that precise club data, um, there's your pack of those. Remember, we're using non ball marking technology, so that's just for club data. Um, and then your USB, which will have all the software. Uh, mounting screws, looks like they're marked low and high, separate bags, as well as all of your screws. Uh, I think they're like M8s or M10s that will screw into the bracket that we'll be mounting here in just a minute. So that's all that stuff, we'll put it aside. I know what everybody's waiting for. Show us the unit, show us the unit. All right, let's get this thing out of here. I wanna do it properly. Looks like we have some tape here that we can cut off and loosen this up. We wanna take our time, obviously. Very expensive unit. All right. This is what I thought. Okay, so there's the bracket. Kinda of fell off the back there, not a big deal though. Um, so IXO bracket, you can actually see it's on uh, an angle, okay? Um, shows you your same kind of like arrows as before and everything for center. And this is what I was so interested in. I was reading the brochure and look how thin this thing is. All right, look at that. And then the total weight, uh, I mean, I could look in the brochure. I don't wanna just fire it off to you, but I'm guessing 20 pounds, you know, roughly, um, not even. 
Um, there's protective film on the front and it looks like there are some protective stickers. Now, before we get this thing mounted up there, cause it'll probably be a lot easier uh, to show you now, let's peel back one of these and show you the camera. So check this out. Looks like a 12 millimeter and it says half 0.5 inch uh, infrared lens, CCTV, five megapixel, and different lens over here, uh, 25 millimeter, half inch. Okay, so that's your aperture, your lens focal distance, and then megapixels. Um, check this out, I'll just bring it up here really quick, and you can get a peek at the all new camera lens inside of, I don't wanna like, I have my ring, my, uh, my light ring, there you go, how about that? And then there's a protective film on top, okay? That way your unit is protected during mounting. And then you can see that there are infrared lights that are located here in the middle. There's a large cluster here and a large cluster there. And then there's a vertical row here and a vertical row there. Looks like a row of two and two. There's your power switch, ethernet, obviously your mounting screws, and we should be good to install guys. All right. so. Let's move on to the next step. All right, guys, so here we are inside the GSV studio. I think we might have another record on our hands. We have the Unicore IXO installed, ready to go, from doorstep to hitting balls in less than two hours. Uh, very impressed with the small form factor. Um, you saw in that previous clip I showed you of the unboxing how thin this is. It was very easy for me to climb up on the ladder by myself and get this bracket and unit hung up. And then now you can see where it sits in front of the ball, okay, three and a half feet in front of the ball. I have 10 feet of ball flight and I have roughly seven feet uh, behind my ball, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys just a small example. I'll hit a couple balls really quick. That way you guys can see the unit in action. And then of course, we're going to be bringing you guys uh, a ton of demonstration videos, not only using the new view software, but the refine software, and then also the third party software such as E6, TGC 2019, and then also Creative Golf 3D. So stay tuned for all of that. But first, let's hit a few shots so you guys can see this thing in action. Welcome back inside the studio. We are here with the Unicore IXO installed, and we have the Unicore View software launched, which is the all new software Unicore has released to be the base software for IXO. So you had QED, which was the Ignite software, and now they've launched this all new software, View. So this is the software that you will use to connect to third party apps, such as E6 Connect, TGC, Creative Golf, things like that. Um, and then also it can be your club fitting software that gives you not only the ability, which is new, to upload data to the cloud, so a student and coach, swing coach, can actually um, upload sessions and data and then both you know, access them remotely. It even has like a little chat box where you can put notes in there and communicate with each other. Really cool stuff. When that gets fully released, I'll show you guys. And then it has the enhanced data, okay, between the non-marking, uh, non-marked ball technology where it's reading the dimples, all right, dimple technology for spin. So we're using a brand new Pro V1 here with no markings on it. And then it also has enhanced club data where these stickers, if I can get them to show up, there we go. You place them on your club appropriately. There's a little square that goes here. If I can somehow show that, that's gonna be a tough one. And then a little square and then this little uh, you know, stripe that goes here. Um, very easy to put on there and they actually give you a little guide to do that. So I've done that. I wanted to show you guys, this is just the first look video. I know everybody probably wants to see a million things, but we got the unit unboxed, showed you everything that comes with it, showed you how it was hanging three and a half feet in front of the ball instead of the QED three and a half feet behind. And then now we're just going to show you a quick over, uh, you know, kind of a, a brief overview of the view software and then uh, hit a couple balls real quick for you. OK, so um, with much more content to come, I promise you, we'll look at the third party apps. We'll look at, uh, you know, more in-depth of view and more clubs, et cetera. So I appreciate you guys watching this video as we, you know, really we're diving in for the first time. I've never used this software or the IXL. 
I mean, the thing showed up and here we are hitting balls a couple hours later, just like with the QED. So uh, please understand that. I'll go through and I'll master all the software and everything so I can show you guys the ins and the outs. That's for sure. So upper right is an add user button. And then uh, I've already added a user, as you can see there. There's my email if you guys ever want to contact me for any questions. Or if you're looking to buy QED or IXO, more than happy to help you. You have a catalog of names you could search through. So if you're an instructor and uh, you wanted to put all your students in there, you can do that, which I think is fantastic. Uh, we can go ahead and click the Start button. That's going to take us into the View kind of homepage where you're going to start your session. So this session, I'll just be working with my Pitching Wedge. So I'm just going to go ahead and select a color for that. We'll just select the first color. All right, and then we can just go ahead and name our club. Now, I'm just going to name my pitching wedge, but let's say that you were working with a certain shaft or you were working with a certain name brand. Whatever you were doing, you could put that in there, all right? And you could hit multiple pitching wedges. But I'm going to do iron. I'm going to do premium ball because we're playing with that Pro V1, and I'm going to add that club. I'll give you guys a quick rundown of the view uh, homepage here where you have the front view where you're going to see your ball traces, all right? And you're going to see a side and top view for dispersion on the top, and then your apex, your side trajectory on the bottom. And then your grouping, which is really cool. After you hit four shots, then you have uh, clusters that show up, or you can show them up in rings, one or the other. But I think that's really cool, and you can compare that between either sessions with the different manufacturer clubs, let's say you're hitting, or shafts, or you could do it between different clubs, all right? And then this is that enhanced club technology that they're doing, enhanced club data. Um, you can see now you have dynamic loft and attack angle, vertical and horizontal impacts, lie angles. Um, and then you are not only can get an illustration of where that is hitting on the club, you can get a photo of it that I'm going to show you that's unbelievable. Zoomed in image of that ball hitting the uh, club face, it's amazing. Um, and then in the lower right, there's that swing video uh, replay that we've really enjoyed and showed off in the QED. They obviously have that now in a higher resolution and a higher frame rate. And then here, if you have your either webcams or the swing optics uh, cameras from Unicor, you can do video replays of your swing, draw on it and everything else. We'll do that at a later date. Uh, the plan is to get the swing optics cameras and I'll show those to you guys. Now here's your shot list, which will give averages and a max at the bottom. And then the session list, we're just going to have one session of our pitching wedge. And then our number screen with all the different data tiles. These are draggable, so you can arrange them in how you want. And then if I go back to that front page, I've actually edited the data points here. I've added apex and club face angle just as kind of an example. And then the upper right is where you can select how many traces you want to see. You could see all of them, just this session of pitching wedge, or just your last shot. Okay. So I believe that covers kind of everything in this initial software. Um, let's hit some balls. All right, so let's fire some balls off here, and hopefully uh, they'll be okay because it's been a very long day. I'm not going to lie, guys, so uh, I'm tired. I've only hit a couple balls before this just to make sure everything was up and going. I'll cover this up really quick. They do have the sound you can hear. Obviously recognizes uh, quickly. Let's see if I can hit a couple okay balls for you guys. That was not the best strike for me. I mean, it's, yeah, it's short as well. So let's hit a couple more here. I think we need four total to show you the cluster um, view inside of there, which I would like to show. It's pretty cool. That was a little better. Still a little bit of my, my pull miss. But that's okay. Backspin, you can see all the data showing up. Carry 131, that's a good carry for me on my pitching wedge. Um, smash factor, club path, launch angle, side angle, ball speed, club speed, backspin, and then, uh, unfortunately, a 1,000 RPM of, of left, uh, left spin. So I need to try to get this a uh, little more square here. Oh, of course, and what did I do there? I pushed it. Well, hey, you guys are going to get to see all kinds of shots. Hey, when it's tired and it, hey, when I'm tired and it's late, 
I can't promise you anything, you know. All I'm going to do is just give you a good demo that you deserve. But uh, as far as good shots go, sorry guys. That's for another day. That was a pretty decent shot. Still pulled it a little bit. I'll take it though. 128 carry, smash factor, 1.29, club path, not that good. <laughs> I mean, that's me coming from the inside out. You know, I've got to fix that. Um, and then my club face angle, uh, left five degrees. I mean, that's just, that's me right now. I've got to get that fixed. Let's go ahead and review this though. This should be enough for you guys to see what's going on. The first thing I'll do is I'll show you, let's say I wanted to compare those uh, paths, all right? Look at that. I mean, I had two that were very similar off to the left. I got one towards the middle, and then look at that one I pushed. Wow. All right, so that's the first thing you can do. You can go to your side or top. That's gonna show your 2D dispersion. Look how far I pushed that one to the right. All right, apexes uh, and trajectories look similar though. And then I can do these groupings. This is cool. So these are these clusters that'll start showing up. Okay, you can either do a circle, which kind of shows your whole radius of where your balls went, or you can show a cluster. All right, which kind of helps you, you know, uh, look at the distance and your dispersion together. All right, pretty cool stuff there. So let's look at the data for club. Now, what I like is, is you can see where my other uh, point of strikes were. This was a good strike. So um, sure, I kind of pulled it a little bit, but you can see my dynamic loft, you can see my launch angle, my attack angle, my backspin. Um, usually I have a little higher backspin on my pitching wedge. When I first did my uh, couple tests, I was able to hit the pitching wedge upwards of you know eight plus thousand, um, and I noticed those couple shots were a little bit lower. I mean, I'm tired and not really swinging that great, so I guess you lose, lose spin, right? Um, face angle, was left five degrees, club path right 7.3 degrees, side angle 2.6 degrees, side spin 9.59. So um, lie angle was up zero degrees. Hey, I had that uh, that club kind of square to the ground. That's a good thing. We can see that in, check this out, zoomed in video of, or you know, image of impact. So I actually struck the ball decent that time around. OK, um, which, you know, I was struggling with there a little bit. These, these were not good shots at all, but good for demonstration purposes. Um, let's go ahead and play that back. This is what I think is crazy. Let's let's blow this up. You can hit this little square here. All right. And blow this up. Bring this back. I mean, I think I can see the ball compress. Look at that. And then you can see the ball spin. That's how many frames they're capturing. Obviously, it's pushing to the right. My face is, you know, closed right there at impact, coming from the inside. Let's watch that. Verify the data. Yeah, look at this. Look at my look at my club coming from the inside, and then closed right there. I mean, uh, better than better than some of my other shots, that's for sure. But. Uh, I think that this just gives you such an in-depth amount of feedback. I mean, those that picture at impact and the video being that, you know, high resolution and high frame rate. I mean, that that is amazing feedback, in my opinion. I, I haven't experienced anything like that before. I know there's been people that have, you know, done testing with phantom cameras and everything and that uh, I haven't had the chance to to use something like that. So uh, for me. This this really is amazing. I love these angles. They show you the dynamic loft angle. All right. They show you the attack angle. All right. See how how I'm looking at the red angle. They show you the launch angle. So they're using these colored lines with the colored text, so you understand those data points and those different angles of your club. I think that's really cool. Obviously, I'm not going to show you swing cameras because I don't have those connected right now. But I'm going to show you the uh, all the different shots and all the data points. Okay, so you can put these up in there and you can get carry, total, side, uh, smash factor, ball, club, backspin, side, launch angle, descent angle, a apex, all that. Look at the push hooks. <laughs> Man, that is that is definitely right up my alley, the push hook. I need to get that fixed. I've been working on it. 
but unfortunately, um, it's been a slow turnaround for me. Um, I, I never used to hit push hooks. My swing has changed and it's been tough. So here's your data tiles. Uh, all kinds of, of data. I mean, I could le read through these really quick, but uh, I mean, starting from the upper left, carry, impact position, impact uh, position, oh yeah, Y and X, um, attack angle, dynamic loft, distance to apex, face to path, club path, club face angle, smash factor, ball flight type. Um, I like how it has ball flight type. You know, it, it's a, it was a push hook. Um, you know, I wish it was more of like a push draw, but you know, they're saying, Hey, look how much that thing, you know, moved to the left. And I, I agree. <laughs> um, flight time, descent angle, side angle, launch angle, side spin, back spin, all the, all the, you know, you've seen a lot of those data points already, but you know, total run, you know, apex 98 feet. I like that. Um, so I, I just think that comparing this to what I've seen in the past, and I'll tell you what, I'll just take my video really quick and we'll bring it back up because we're going to wrap this thing up. Um, first impressions. I think that this is some really intense feedback. Uh, I could see how a PGA professional or club fitter is going to get enhanced data points now um, that they need, you know, to do club fitting uh, and or training for that matter. Um, coming from an amateur's point of view, okay, uh, being able to see the ball impact on the club face, not only in uh, image and video, but also that graphical image. I really liked how I could hit all four of those shots. And I'll pull that back up so you guys know what I'm talking about. You can switch back and forth between this. So let's go to club again and see how you have the photo up and then the illustration. Well, what I like about that is, is now I can actually look and see where all four of those shots were. So if I was hitting them all on the toe, it's easy for someone like myself, not a PGA professional, to know, all right, I'm hitting it on the toe. You know, maybe I can just move a little closer to the ball, you know, and see how that works. Um, obviously, you can consult with your swing coach and, and learn from that. You could send them this data. You guys could share the cloud. Um, I see where they're going here. I think it's impressive. This is just the first look. I'm obviously going to dive way in for you guys and show you a lot more. So be patient. Um, we have a lot going on here in the studio. And obviously, we're doing testing with Unicor uh, with a brand new system. So we'll be working with them, you know, getting all the various software installed and everything, make sure that uh, we have everything up and running properly and, you know, getting integrated with the third parties. We'll do all that. Um, but, you know, be patient, stay tuned. We'll release a bunch of videos for you guys and uh, show you more and more about the Unicor IXO system. I appreciate you guys watching today. We'll talk to you soon.